Hello, and welcome to another episode of New World Comics Podcast. I'm Buck Berlin, owner, operator of this fine, fine establishment. <laughs> Y'all okay? <laughs> we're good, brother. We were not ready, but you are. <laughs> oh, you all told me you're all ready. <laughs> we're hey, ready. we're the most ready podcast you'll ever listen to. Born ready. Episode 71, we think. Uh, like, subscribe. Ish. Uh, pray to the right deity. and uh Wrong. Yeah, uh, <laughs> oh, enjoy the uh, podcasts. Uh, tell all your friends about it. Uh, some of your enemies, if they're gullible, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I got nothing. But that's why I have you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, guys. Hey. Hey, Buck. Buck. What's cracking? Oh, thought I'd uh, have another podcast after uh, some more of that hiatus business. If you must. Yep. So uh, this week we have Josh Flowers. What up? And uh, Evan Sprinkle. What up? So uh, they are two like-minded individuals who have the very most little manliest in- names in the world. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> the manliest man. The manly man. man. Yep. Now that we've showcased their masculinity, <laughs> let's talk about the dainty things that you all love. Oh. Let's talk about our tabletop board games. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Actually, yes. Uh, Evan, you have in front of us uh, a game that you made. I have a game that I uh, helped develop. A buddy of mine named Made entirely all by yourself. Oh, no No help from anyone. You've drawn everything. That is totally false. Hand cut every card. That is also false. The prototype I hand cut, though. But (laughs) anyway. (laughs) What, Uh, uh, Evan is the best game developer in Oklahoma. You just ask him. Oh, no. And he's humble. (laughs) Yep. So humble. No, dude, there's a group of, no. No, no. Yeah, a group of people that uh, support that entirely. They're, They're sitting right here. a group of people that yep. will fight you tooth and nail on that, I dude. would like to see them try because I won't be right here. I'll be like <laughs> yeah. three feet that way. That's all me. Making costumes. Uh, the game is yes. called The Four Clans. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. And, um, Not one or two or three. Four. I got four clans. Four. Um, and it is a collectible card game, actually. A buddy of mine had this crazy idea, and then we started working on it. And um, I mean, we put a lot of time in on this. I mean, this is, we worked on it for three years straight. Anyways, and this is the first year in 2019. Oh, crap. This is 2020. Okay. Yep. In 2019, we got the first playable printing of it. And um, it's just, a, it's, it's set up as a really fun game. And it's really different than the other, other games out there. Like, the three top dogs are Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh!, and Magic, you know? Yes. And, um... It really is different. And you hate all three of them. I hate them all. <laughs> um, <laughs> you love them enough to like games, but hate them enough to make your own. That stupid yes. electric mouse rabbit thing. <laughs> yeah, that Pika Pika. So, so what's different about it, like, um, is that when you're playing, each player needs two decks. You have your army deck, and then you have your spell deck. And the whole point of the game is to destroy your opponent's warriors that come out of their army deck. Yeah. And you yeah. use your spells, and you use your abilities on your warriors to just, you know, try to decimate your opponent. I just use harsh words, but... That, that can work, too. too. <laughs> <laughs> so when in the game do I say Uno. Oh, never. Yeah, so when you run out of cards, do yeah. you win? Like, how do you know? Oh, if you, the win condition is if your opponent does not have any more warriors on the table yep. and no more warriors in his barracks, which is his army deck, then you win. Oh, okay. And, and the way it's built up is you could be out of barracks, which is your warriors, and still have warriors on the table and still be fighting and fighting and fighting. What if you run out of spells? Uh, then you just got to keep fighting and hope that your warriors have enough abilities that they can keep you alive. Oh, so the, the spells are just supplemental. It's not like the warriors are going out there and spelling. The, the spells are, in a way, yes. Yes, yes. Okay. Your, your spells are major of, this is what I'm doing in the game, and your warriors are trying to keep them alive. Gotcha. Is, is what that aspect Okay, is. Uh, okay. I understand. I, I thought it was one of those, like, well, the warrior has the spell, or worst case no. scenario, he takes off his shoe, and he's going to hit you with it. it. No, yeah. no. It's And it, it really is set up as a, a fast game. Like, I hate it in games when you're, you're playing. With, you got this in RPGs, and you even have this in some card games, where you do something, and then it just falters, and then you're like, oh, well, my turn is over. Like, what? we hate that. What do you mean? Like, in... Uh, well, in D&D, yeah. you can roll, and you don't get past their armor class, and you're like, well, that, that was my attack. It dinked. And then sometimes in Magic, you're playing a card, you're playing a card, it gets countered, and then your turn is over. That's just infuriating. So everything is built to be like, I'm playing a card, something is going to happen. 
Um, sometimes something better happens. Sometimes something worse happens. And um, but but it, it's equal for both parties. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. And and that's what we've. That's when a lot of late nights playing and playing and playing to a make sure it's fun. You know, yeah. and then B, make sure nothing is broken because there are multiple strategies. You know, some of the strategies are, man, I'm just going to shoot all my opponent's warriors with spells. Other strategies are, you know what, I'm just going to draw a bunch of warriors and try to have quantity over quality. And the other one is, there's there's other strategies of, man, I can steal a whole lot of crap, which is really fun. You can steal a whole lot of warriors, all the spells and all the stuff. Things get, things get all like crazy and messed up. Um, <laughs> I forgot how it's going. <laughs> um, but... Um, it, it's set up to have different strategies that, so far, we have not found one strategy that wins. The plan uh, is to attack. Yes. <laughs> At all times. <laughs> Interesting. So out of the four clans, what are you actually fighting for? Is there like a goal in mind? Are you warring oh. for a thing in particular? Limitations uh, of the women. Yes, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Cross your, <laughs> your, enemies. your enemies. See them driven before you. Hear the lamentations that's of the it. women. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, I've <laughs> seen Conan. It's, ca <laughs> it's called the four clans because every army deck has four different clans. Yeah. And yeah. the army decks are all different. They all have, uh, you know, different themes. Like we've got fairies. We have unicorns, we have unicats, we have buggers, which are funky little goblins, and we have just this vicious, vicious dragons and stuff. Um, and each of those decks has four different clans, and the clans build on each other and help each other. And um, there's four different clan leaders, and the clan leaders all have different abilities. Some of them will help you draw more warriors, some of them will help you steal warriors, some of them are just like, boom, I'm going to kill that warrior. And so that's, that's why it's called that, because you focus on your army decks, and then your spells are supplemental to that army deck. And then you strategize with, hey, what combination of spells are going to help this deck the best? But, but at the same time, it's not set up. There are some games out there, Forge, something or other. But there's some games that are set up of, you have this deck, and only this set of spells works best with it. Like Hearthstone's kind of like that. But it's not, we're not like that at all. You can grab any army deck, and then grab any spell deck, and put them together, and just go and play. So I can put a warrior on a unicorn... Yeah. And do a Xperiyama spell. Yes. 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 We and take that, Hermione. <laughs> Makes you so smart. <laughs> yes. And and we threw a whole lot of humor. There's a lot of humor in our deck that So so like the Unikitty is the most powerful one. Yeah. Because it's the tiny cute yeah. Yeah. Like and it, they're it can cute defeat and a beautiful. dragon. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, they're lovely and wonderful. So uh, killing people with kindness. So say there's someone like me that that hasn't uh, played games like this just because you've been reading too many comic books. Well, there, there's <laughs> that. Um, I, I have the addictive personality. Like when, oh. when when I get into a thing, I get into a thing. Oh yes. In yes. fact, uh, you might say that I love comics so much that I bought a whole comic, comic shop. Uh, so, so so wait, like. You you got a wife. Does that mean you have to get more wives? Yes. And you won't be happy to have like 50? I'm a bigamist. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Call you Solomon? <laughs> I mean, I've been called worse. No. Uh, yeah, stop sure. cutting babies. <laughs> <laughs> you monster. <laughs> it just depends on Is how you cut them. Is there a card for that? And <laughs> You, you should be. Baby with a <laughs> there needs this to be. Weird. This we got can make weird. one. <laughs> so, uh, but no, uh, in, in gaming, anytime that I, I play, uh, I get hyper competitive like i get weird yeah. and mean and and i i typically only play games with three other people just because uh they can handle you they can handle me they they know me and like they've known me long enough that like they won't bet you know like back down to me yeah. like yeah bowing up to them you know <laughs> yeah uh i've not seen that side of you buck that is because jeff has firearms yeah no and, and you know ryan gets me and and james is uh yeah, but uh, no, it, it's it's one of those where I don't like to see that side of me. You know, yeah. like it, it's, yeah, I don't know. It I, I have this weird competitive edge when it comes to like playing games. Yeah. Whereas like in in all of other life, it's the ah well whatever. Yeah. <laughs> you guys have fun. I'll be yeah. over here. Yeah. Yeah, but like when it's game time, oh, I will crush you. I'm going to yeah. defeat you, and your family will no longer recognize you because of how defeated you've been. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. So I see why you're not allowed at family gatherings anymore. They really have asked me to not come back. There, there were five years ago in this uh, very, very <laughs> infamous game of Monopoly oh. where I may or may not have uh, punched my mother-in-law. They but have not <laughs> found the hat since. No. The uh, hat! <laughs> because I shoved it up well. We don't no. even talk anyway, about it. Yeah. Anyway. Don't even talk about irons. No. Um, anyway. Uh, that cursed shoe. <laughs> Sorry, um, for those uh, uninitiated that don't play games, uh, sell me on it. Oh, yeah, dude, it's I could teach Aww. it to people in 10 minutes. Easy well, peasy. It turns out we have 10 minutes, right? Oh, now, no. go. <laughs> um, 959. 959. 958. Right. 957. You got two decks. There's 40 spells in your spell deck. There are 52 cards in your warrior deck. Wait, wait, so uh, how many spells? 40, 4 zero. 40 to no more, my, no less. To my 52, 52 warriors. warriors. That's okay. correct. So some yeah. warriors will be without spells. Yeah, well, no. Um, your warriors are... Uh, do, do your spells replenish? Yes. Okay. Yes, your spells replenish. And your warriors don't cast the spells. Some of your warriors have abilities on them, yeah. which is a separate thing. Some of your warriors are just a number. Okay. Because they're like, hey, I'm just a grunt. I'm here you, to fight. You got, you got infantry, then you got your Captain America. Yes. Okay. Yes. And um, what it is is... You start out with eight warriors, you start out with eight spells, and then yeah. within a turn, you're going to pick up to three spells to cast during your turn. Okay. Um, you pull them out of your, we call it your spell log, which is your eight spells you pick from. Mm -hmm. and then, wait, wait, so like, are you the wizard who's commanding the, the whole thing? I'm the wizard dude commanding the whole thing. Okay. But, I, I, but, I didn't know if it was like, and, yeah, and here's yeah. my main, you know, like, I didn't know if, if no. you were the guy or if you were represented in the game. Yeah, it's not that static. Like, I'm okay. the wizard dude. Commanding, I'm the general, I would say, commanding the army and I'm casting the spells. But unlike other games, the person, the human, does not have any life points. You know, in Magic, the yeah. wizard has life points. You get all that junk. No, it's your warriors that you try to kill your warriors, opponents of warriors. But you start with eight warriors, start with eight spells. First turn, you're going to pick three spells, up to three spells. You cast them. And then you're going to do that and keep doing that. And there's no there's no mana. There's no land. There's no, like, energy, which they use in Pokemon. Mm -hmm. If you got a spell in your hand, you can cast it. So that makes things go really fast. Okay. And it makes it to where, like, you have a lots of options that, ooh, I want to do this strategy. I can play this, this, and this. Um, but you get messed up in your strategies is there are other spells that will counter stuff. There are other spells that will uh, make your strategy not work so well because they mess. It, it'll it. negate some, you know, yeah, some other. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And, and um, what's really cool and hilarious is our spells have so many things going on, like, you know, every, sing every single spell is very different, and some of the spells, you're going to be rolling dice against each other. Some of them, you're going to be flipping coins. So this comes with dice and coins and stuff, or do you have to, like... You provide your own dice uh, and coins. Okay, no, I, I mean, that, yeah. that's fine. I mean, you know, Magic yeah. has, like, the countdown dice and stuff that you have to buy some Yeah, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. but... And I, I get it. It, it, I, it was just a, you know, what all do you need? Well, to... Yeah, that's what you need. Okay. Um, and so, you'll go through the whole turn, and there's different, there's different phases, but it can go really quickly. Um... And then at the end of the turn, you're going to add up all of your warriors, like because every one of them has a number. So whoever has the biggest number wins that turn, which we call wins that battle. So okay. if you win that battle, you, all of your opponent's warriors are wiped off and they die. And you, you, like none, none come back. You can't like there's they no, all go to the graveyard. There, there's no necromancy or anything. There is some of that. So they oh, all okay. go to the graveyard, which you can't look at your graveyard, which is different. You can only see the top card on your graveyard, but the rest of them are face down. Okay, so you bury your people face down. That's yes. messed up. <laughs> so <laughs> We have no respect. <laughs> so copyright notwithstanding, if you can get the Black Cauldron card, you can resurrect yes. your dead warriors. Yes, you can resurrect your dead warriors using a summoner, using, uh, we have something called Realm Warriors. Like okay. there's, there's a separate tribe that, sh that you use from your spells. You start pulling warriors from your graveyard and they become, you know, like skeletal warriors, realm warriors, and, and they are, can get really are, are they easier to defeat? Uh, after no, that or okay, no, they're just thinking awesome. I don't know if it, okay, <laughs> no, they're so, cool. so so they're they're harder to defeat now that they don't have any feelings. Yes, okay, yes, cool. because they're not as sensitive. You know, the other ones yeah. kind of cry. Yeah, you know, I mean, right? oh no, I got a boo boo. Yes, yeah. exactly, like that. Because like they have that. no insides, right? Like yeah. literally, yeah, exactly. So I think I kind of want all my warriors to die first, and then I can bring them back as. Undead zombie, which is how, was, totally a strategy. I was gonna say, yeah. How good of a strategy is that? It's a good strategy. If, if you've mm. got the right spell deck set up for that, that's an awesome strategy. Because you, through the game, you realize you're pulling from your barracks, which is your army. You know, which is you know you're drawing warriors that are alive, and then you're also gonna start pulling from your graveyard. So let's say you have a clan leader who they're really powerful warriors. He dies. You're like, oh crud. Next turn, you're like, dude, I'm gonna pull him out and I'm gonna use his ability, and I'm gonna mess you up because you messed me up. So. 
Unstoppable That's... Army of the Undead. Yeah. I like it. I yeah. mean, it, it's it's allegedly stoppable. Al- allegedly. It is allegedly. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, w- what with the uh, need for winning. Psh. I mean, if you uh, unalive all your people and I unalive all my people and then have them fight. If I have the most unalived, then I will be the unstoppable. That is true. But, but if we've unalived all of them. Yes. And if you have. It's a stalemate. Uh, no. No? No, it's not. If you've unalived all of them. Okay, let's say you added up. Your army and his army. All right, yeah. Let's say they're both undead. That's yeah. fine. Yeah, let's you, say you, you both have Commander Solo, which is a dude who gets pumped up for all round warriors on the table. Mm-hmm. So, because there's a tribal aspect of it, some aspects of it. But um, if you both tie, then you both draw three warriors from your barracks and go through another battle again. Um, whereas, you know, let's say Josh won, then all of your warriors, Buck, would be dead. He would draw three warriors, and then you would draw up to his warriors. Like if he had 15 warriors out, you would draw 15 warriors out. Oh, and there's been plenty of times we get to where like, dude, how many warriors you got out? It's like, dude, I got 25. So you're drawing your entire barracks. Like, you know, if you only have 20 and then, and it doesn't mean the game is over. It means like maybe I win, you know, even though I don't have a barracks and I start stealing some stuff and I stay alive for a while. Wait, there's stealing in this game? Like you oh, can there's cheat? lots of stealing. So you can steal it. warriors so, from other people? You can steal warriors from other people, and it's so fun. So like, while warriors. he's not watching, I can be like, and... No. My, oh, okay. If you're a Tardo, yeah. It, it's, not, <laughs> it's not actual stealing. Okay, no, I didn't know if it was actual, like the... we're not promoting actual criminal activity. But oh, okay. No. I mean, you know, there's some card games uh, uh, that I've played where it's the, yeah, distract this other uh, opponent to your to the best of your abilities and take a card out of their deck. No, that's terrible. Yeah. No, no, no. We, we... Is this some sort of underground poker thing yeah, that you've been really? doing? This was, I, I mean, I haven't played it in... It's like underground Pokemon or something. It was before I owned the store, it was... I, I, was it Munchkin? I want to say it was like lunch money or something like is that. This oh yeah, I've heard of that. I've heard of that one. Or maybe it was bully, like school bully. Or that sounds. That's a video game. No, well, uh, maybe it was okay. A card there game. was a slew of card games that came out right around the time that I uh, took or uh, uh, got a job here at the store. Some of them were pretty awesome. Some of them were really stupid. Like yes, and but, I've played a lot. There was because yeah. like I got addicted to the hero clicks. Like yep. it, it yeah. got they were me. fun. Oh my mm-hmm. god! Yeah, I had to I had to quit. Like I I cannot play except for me and my best friend. Like we will not touch the stuff outside. Of, yeah, yeah, it's like heroin, dude. It no. is. Uh, it's a filthy disease. And like, have you got any Fantastic Four? I gotta have them. <laughs> yeah, that's, that I gotta have the I thing. Gotta have the thing. <laughs> I gotta have it. It's clobber and time, baby. It's clobber and time. <laughs> yeah. Buck's looking ashamed over there. He was like, oh. there went my life savings all in the plastic. <laughs> there, there were times it was the well. There goes this week's profits. Great meat. <laughs> Oh, anyway, so <laughs> dude, we've all been there. I've kicked that habit more or less. <laughs> but uh, there was there was one. Uh, I swear to God, it, it was called breakies. There were keys that you fit together and twisted, and then you pulled apart, and if you won or not, you would have the other person's part of the key that broke off. I was remember it that cardboard. No, they're plastic. They were plastic. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and like, you actually broke them. Yeah, yeah, and and then yeah, but the the caveat was uh, there was a code you could scratch off on the thing, get online, and play digitally, which is better. Which is stupid. Well, <laughs> uh, oh, because you can't use your muscle. Well, and That's and and, and, and this thing is like some of the keys are just like. Uh, pre-molded to to break or whatever, you know, like it's yeah. So oh. this is why kids start playing video games. Yeah, stuff. yeah, like mm. it, it was such a like. It was pushed so hard for such a small amount of time. Yeah. We sold so many of them just because kids were like, no, this is so dumb. Look how dumb this is. And they bought another pack. Wow. <laughs> but uh, so we we uh, tried to do a tournament, I remember, and one of the kids brought in super glue. <laughs> oh, and he glued <laughs> and his he keys. Glued his key. <laughs> that kid was like, I am going to win. Yeah. And he was like, "Cool, what do I win?" They're like, "Here's a free pack of breaks." Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, he didn't know. Yeah. yeah, dude, you're not winning cash. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. You you won a terrible game. So yeah, uh, <laughs> super tar and feather that child and ride him out on the rail. Yeah, well, I mean, afterwards, I was like, "Hold on, you just broke ten key. Let me see your key. This is glued." Yeah. Yeah, oh, that's funny. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, so that is not what we're trying to make here. Like yeah. something that infuriates me about card games because I've, I've 
Well, well here's a key card right here. Well, it, but it, that, yeah, that, that goes back to the you know there. Sometimes there are those rules that that will make oh. you act. Yeah, oh, that, yeah. that's a, those, a weird. Those are terrible. No, yeah, I get yeah. you. Those are terrible because everything we've written and everything we've played, we're like, it needs to be very clear. Yeah, you know, and and there are going to be questions of this. This blessing is on. This warrior does this curse happen before this blessing, and we've put that into the rule book, really. But, um, but those are exciting to be like, you know, what combination works the best yeah. with A, B, and C? Those are great. Well, and yep. yeah, well, I'm I'm glad that you you have the concise uh, rules of that because when I play these games, I lawyer the hell out of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause you <clears throat> well, and and something about a lot of card games I played, and I I I know Pokemon does this. I know Magic did it. Mm-hmm. I felt like they made a lot of trash cards. You were like, oh, I got this big old pack, all these cards, and you're like, well, yeah, it, bad, 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 bad. I mean, it, those it, three are good. It makes sense uh, for them as, as they make their money off selling the extra, yeah. the the ancillary. Uh, yeah, but it's back. frustrating because then you have five thousand of these cards mm-hmm. that you don't need, that you don't, nobody wants them. R- right. And so, but, but yeah. then you need more cards. <laughs> No, I mean that's the thing is that man, look at all my cards. Oh. Well, I need to get more, and then oh. you you have the unmanageable collection. Yeah, and then you know you have some people that that you know do sort their stuff, and then some people it's the ah it's past that date. Let's just move those. Yeah. Uh, speaking of clear and concise, if we people are sitting down to learn this game, uh, how long would it take to actually learn the game and then play? Because Ten minutes. Ten minutes, because I did that at awesome. the con. Yeah. Like, right. Two people, that they had played some Yu-Gi-Oh! before. They mm-hmm. sat down. I was like, hey guys, we're going to do... And and I was I was nice, you know, because I'm like, you know, if they don't Good, enjoy it, it, it... It really shouldn't be the other. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's, committed. it's like a mortgage. No, I was like... <laughs> Guys, you know, because I'm were, declaring bankruptcy right yeah. now. Yeah, like that. I'm yeah. into my turn on that. <laughs> so I told I told him that I was like, hey, you know, play a little bit, and yeah. and then, but anyways, I showed him the rules, and uh, watched them for a turn, and then I walked away. Yeah, you know, and then I just watched as they laughed and they played, and they mm. played for a good hour and a half. Which some of that was there; they were new. Like you yeah. can get this thing done in 30 minutes if you're familiar with the cards. And um, there was something the dude said that at, at that event that he was like, dude. There's a lot of games like Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon, and and I haven't played Magic in a while, but Magic has developed, and it can break itself real easy. But mm-hmm. yeah. he was saying, man, you don't get the good feels anymore. Like, Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, my opponent, he plays two different cards. I know I'm screwed. I'm done. And he was yeah. like, I'm not having any more fun. Yeah. And he was saying, this one, there's ups and downs. You're like, oh, no, I'm going to lose. The next turn, you get some stuff, you counter stuff, and you're like, oh, there's Back fun. in the game, baby. Yeah, back in the game. And... And there's so many cards that are crazy. Some of yeah. them are like, what did I just do? Did I just wipe everybody off the board? That's hilarious. Or there's there's even some where you steal your opponent's spells and yeah. warriors. There's even one where you switch places with him, and you get to play his deck for two turns, and he gets to play your deck oh, for two turns. Oh, that's fun. So your whole point is, I'm trying to mess this army up. And and just the other night, we played that, and I was I had an opponent. We were playing four people at a time. I did that, and I was like, I'm going to screw him up. And I was looking, and I was like, nope. He built his deck so good. I couldn't do anything to mess him up. I was like, dang, he's good. Okay, so so you get your, your Paco stuff, and then you, you choose from it what, what you want? You get what well, you get your army deck, which it's, ba- it's built for you. Mm-hmm. And then we have built quite a few pre-constructed spell decks, you know, yeah. so that you can just grab them and play. But yeah. you don't have to do that. I really want people to make their own decks. We have, like... 250 some spell cards that you can look through okay, and so, build your own deck. So your your spells uh aren't tied to any one clan. Nope. Or one spell is is preferred for each one. It's the all spells are on the table, your clans are Mhm. Okay. Your clans are in your army and and your spells <clears throat> are you basically mix mix and mix and match. Okay. Like you can, can build can you mix and match your your uh uh warriors. No, the warriors are set up. Like, if you have the buggers, yeah, that's your army you're going to play with. Okay, I, I didn't know if there was like, oh, yeah. we mixed the clan. It's multi, no. yeah. But during the game, like, because I like to steal a lot. I play a lot of cards that steal. My buggers, I'm still, I'm fighting the unicorns. I'm going to start stealing a lot of unicorns. So during the game, I'm going to end up having unicorns shuffled in my barracks, shuffled in my graveyard, and I'm going to end up pulling them out. So I could use <clears throat> some of his, you know, his warriors and his clans. Okay. Which is, which is just oh. exciting and fun. And, and kooky, um, and and there's no limit to how many people can play at one time. Like the most we have played together is six people. Okay. Now the other side of that is it's six people, so it takes a while, you know, and, unless yeah. everybody is really really familiar. Mm-hmm. But 
I was just talking to a dude just the other day that this is a guy that this is exciting because it's a dude. He's in his early twenties. I I don't know him, but a friend of mine showed him the game, and then he was like, "This game is amazing," and he's showing his friends. But he was like, "Man, I want to see uh, how many people we could play the four clans. Like, could we get the biggest game ever? Could we get like twenty people?" And I'm like. Yes, but we're going to need like 12 hours just because that's a lot of people. <clears throat> yeah. But that's a neat aspect of it too. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, remember the uh, Conan game that was on Kickstarter a few years ago? Yeah. I, I believe that. What, it's, uh, it's was it a card game fun. or video game? It's a miniature game. Yeah, it was a tabletop game. Yeah. Oh, I didn't see that. So K- Kenny Wayne kickstarted this thing and he got yeah. the whole shebang. Uh, Grumpy Jeff got it too. Yeah. Yeah. And the, uh, <clears throat> the book was so confusing yes it was so <clears throat> over complicated that we like you know what we're gonna make it up as we go along yeah and i played games like because we yeah. looked through that book and went through there, it for like two hours there, there was oh uh, my God. well because it, it was done in french first and then ah, okay. yeah well because over in europe conan's uh fair use yeah. really yeah yeah it, well because they weren't really concerned with copyright uh all that years there. back. Well, because I mean, think of how old Conan is. Yeah, he's yeah. really, really Probably old. The same yeah. thing with Tarzan yeah. and John Carter and stuff. Right. Oh. Yeah, all, the, all this stuff over there is, yeah. is public domain. Weird. So uh, they they have updates on the rules for that the, that they fixed all that. There was a guy <laughs> online that had like a 30, 40 minute video that was explaining it, and we're like, oh, oh, that's what they meant. Yeah. Oh, okay, all right. So this part of the game that's overly so really common, throw that out. Yeah. The rest of it, we're just going to make it up as we go along. And we had a lot of fun playing it. Yeah, it's it's a surprisingly fun game. Yes. That's cool. I, I typically play Conan the entire time because it's the, yes. ah, the fewest rules involved. It's like, just bat- <laughs> like triple. He's just a brutal barbarian. Yeah. I can just go smash. It's like uh, triple attack. I get all the dice. Blah, yeah. Murder everybody. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. We have Melee. on our website, yeah. we have the rules on the website. Because I was like, you know what, dude? You know, nobody's. If you don't know what's up with the game, you're not going to want to buy it. So, yeah. which the website is thefourclans.com, the number four. So, thefourclans.com. Go check it out if you're online. There's a lot of artwork on there, and then you could just read the rules. And it's set up, the rules are set up with lots of pictures, just mm-hmm. describing this is what's going on, this is going on, because, oh man, I, I've played some games where the rules are really, really rough even to get through. Yeah. And you're like, oh my gosh. That's most games. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it's one of those. <laughs> I know. It's one of those where, Rule is you have to read through it before you come to the game. Oh, yeah, that's horrible. It's yeah, like, I never do that. Like, if it takes me more than 20 or 30 minutes, I'm like, God, man, come on. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's like, you want to play Mortal Kombat? Like, yeah, let's go do it. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and and I, I think that that's, that's one of the failings of a lot of these games is that they – there's so much out there now that they they have to make something different, so that yeah. then you kind of o- overcomplicate. The and rules. they get yeah. so complex, but it's oh, so infuriating because it bogs it down and slows it down. Yeah. And me yeah. as a player, I'm like, you know what? I'm an old dude, and I'm patient. Yeah. You know, I'm like, but this is a game. I want to have fun. I want it to get well, the going. Yeah. Yes. And, and I, I mean, there, there's always that extra aspect of the oh, that's a neat little twist there. Yeah. But uh, and you can kind of incorporate some of that stuff later. But like with Hero Clicks, when they incorporated the cards with the special powers, mm-hmm. that's when everything really went downhill because it, it it elevated the game to cool. You can represent that character's actual powers now. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. But you have to have the card because the the cool thing with Hero Clicks was. As long as you know what the colors and powers correspond to, it was all right there it's on the base. All right there, mm-hmm. all you need is the figure. Whereas, which is you, a great idea. Now you need the figure, the card, the accessory to the figure that has its own card, has oh, all that. Yeah. You need to have the map that corresponds with what you're doing. You need yeah. to have uh, the the uh, scenarios. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Do you yes. still have, yeah. Oh, that's a lot of money. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you need to play the tournaments, win the right prizes to get your green lanterns yeah. so everyone can get the, yeah. Uh, and they don't, they don't make hero clicks anymore, do they? Oh, they still do. They still do? Oh, they still do. And they, oh man, they're trying to get me back in. No. See, I oh, just hadn't seen it. I hadn't seen it as, because I know it was huge for yeah. a while there. Well, and, and every now and then I'll walk by and I'll see someone and be like, oh, it's that <laughs> character. I need that. No, I don't. No, yeah. it's Godfather Three. Don't let them pull you back. Oh, in. they're gonna pull me back. Yeah. It doesn't end well. Nope. Yeah. No. Uh, yeah. Some of that, like, there are a few characters. If I see them out in the wild, 
I know that I can buy them, but <laughs> like I need a yeah. Death's Head, I need a D Man, you know, like you have yeah. your Fin Fang Foom. I have all the Fin Fang Fooms. Perfect. Yeah. As far as I know, they may have made like a smaller Fin Fang Foom that I don't know about. Mm. But if they do, I'll buy him because I own every Fin Fang Foom figure. Impressive. It's pretty phenomenal. Impressive. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, but that started with a P. <clears throat> Phenomenal. Oh, it did, didn't it? <laughs> P. Phenomenal? Yes. Not fantastic. <laughs> Sorry, I digress. It's great. It's yeah. great. Um, the game is, is you could say, really all locally made, and like, uh, which that was not really on purpose. Like, we used lots of, we put a lot of artwork into this, yeah. just so you can look at the card, and boom, you can know what it is immediately. Um, and all of the cards, tried to use as much of the card I could for the artwork. Like a whole lot of magic and Pokemon and all that. It's just like it's the, the it's, it's little like an window. inch little square. Yeah. And you're like, dude, you you know, you have so much more space that you could show off the art. Yeah. Um but there's some uh, Michelle Ferguson, uh me, and then Zach Raw, we've done a lot of art on this. And what's really neat is I've worked with Raw. artists online before, and anybody that's communicated online, just solely online, realizes uh it can get confusing. You know, and, mm -hmm. and I remember pissing some people off. The dude in Egypt was like, what the heck are you doing? And I was like, oh, I did not communicate clearly, you know. Yeah. But So I was like, you know what? I know creative people. I know artists and their okies. It's like I know the culture. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they also know where I'm coming from because online you can accidentally even look like you're more big time than you are. Yeah. And you're like, oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> that's all that I do. <laughs> yeah, really. You are Gary yeah. England famous. <laughs> that's, yeah. That's what we're uh, getting to. We're getting close. Yeah. Yeah. Someday. Someday yes. I'll, I'll uh, make that uh, uh, you know, fortune teller <laughs> right. Get on the Gittner. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I need to get on the Gittner. <laughs> so that's been really exciting. And the Zach Raw dude, he's been putting a lot of the artwork on his Instagram and stuff. Yeah, so, yeah, he, he did that one? Yep. Yeah, he, okay. he did. Oh, I see. It says down at the bottom. Yep. Yeah. It helps if I read. Yeah. You and he read. did the Dragon's Deck also. I think it's in the middle here. What no, about the Dragon? The Dragon. That's really good, by Oh, that's way. mine. Yeah, that looks um, really good. I did that one. But, eh. but <laughs> <laughs> no, Dude, my kids do that to me. Like, I was drawing something a few weeks ago, and they go and look, and I, and, and I always ask him, what do you think, you know? Yeah. And Lily was like, eh. And then Remy, <laughs> she came over there and she was like, eh, you could have been more creative. And I was <laughs> like, oh my gosh. Well, oh. at least they're honest. They, I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, the honesty of children. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. And I'm just like, yep. <laughs> just, no, just an artist. That's uh, awesome. Uh, uh, so <laughs> how, how long uh, did it take from like, Oh. Concept to starting, oh. just uh, from from sheer concept to starting the oh. rules. Yeah, that's a, that's that's a good question because I, dude, back when I was like twenty three, I came up with this game idea and I was like, it's gonna be awesome. Like this game idea, not this one. No, okay, no, a totally different. I'm glad you clarified. Yeah. It was gonna be a RPG and a board game mashed together, and it's gonna be fast and it's gonna work. Oh, that's dude, Conan. Oh, really? Well, I want to play it then, because yeah. mine did not work. Yeah. <laughs> like, I worked on that all the way till I was in my 30s. My poor friends, they played so many different versions of that. And <laughs> every now and then, they'd be like, well, Evan, I had more fun this time than last time. I'm like, yeah. oh. But, and then I, uh, years later, you know, got married and all this, and had kids, and got a house, and uh, met my neighbor. And he is such an amazingly creative dude, and what was cool is... Um, you know, he was telling me about video game ideas, and I was like, dude, can we put this into a board game idea? Which was a totally different idea. It was a space game idea. Okay. And so we started working on that. And we worked on that for like five or six years because, you know, we'd stay up late saying, all right, these are the rules. This is what's going to be. And play test, play test, play test. And when mm -hmm. we think we had it, we'd keep play testing and then be like, oh, no, dude, we have a big problem. You know, yeah. like if you set up this scenario, you're always going to win. Or, oh, crud, this is too predictable. Now it's not fun anymore. Mm -hmm. So, And then he had another game idea, which we worked on for a good three or four years, which did not work. And so one day he called me up saying, okay, Evan, I have a different game idea. And I was thinking, I, I don't, I don't want to work on it. I'm so sick of failing <laughs> at these games. Yeah. You know. So he, he told me this idea, and I was like, oh, that's a really good idea. So that day we just, you know got some normal playing cards and started writing and prototyping and all this stuff. And then for like, a good— Like you got like actual like— 
playing cards, like, like bicycle playing cards, okay. and just wrote Sharpie on them saying, all right, this guy's this number, okay, this is how that works, and then this is this spell. Cool. And then we realized, okay, we got something good here, but we knew it wasn't complete. And so yeah. for like another three years, we play tested it and play tested it and, and really, really fought with, is this working? Is this not working? What do we need to throw out? What do we need to add in? And so this is, you know, a good three years of work, and then it was a good one year of trying to get a lot of artwork, and mm -hmm. then... And then going to printing. Once you figure out the basics for it, knowing that there needs to be a ratio of cards that that just function as your bulk set, and then there's the your cards that do something, your spells. Mm -hmm. uh, knowing that uh, one thing can sway everything, you know, one way oh, or another, pretty yeah. far. Uh, do you? Uh, is it easier for you to? drop that even though it's like a super fun aspect or do you try to counter that uh well it's actually actually with with me and jeff like he comes up with ideas and there's some cards we've made that were like oh shoot you know and we've used them and and some of them we imprinted them in this set and there were like four cards that we kicked out because it was like oh this is just breaking it yeah you know? well, and but, th yeah that, that was the next uh part to it is the uh given the ratio of cards how many do you fit in to counter that yeah, it. The way we were, Jeff, well, the way it works is Jeff just throws all these ideas at me, and that's why that's why it's his game. Because when we were like, okay, we're writing cards for printing and all this, I wrote like five and showed it to him, and he was like, "That's redundant. That's redundant. We've already done that." And I was like, "Okay, dude, you need you need to give me some cards." He starts just writing and all these ideas, you know. So, oh, what well, crap? Where was it going? Oh, oh, he has these ideas, and then we work them out. Does it yeah. fit with the rules? <clears throat> is it fun? And does it break the game? That's the three main criteria. And okay. we usually really try to make it work. And what <laughs> often can happen is he has these ideas, and we could split those up into three cards. Yeah. You know, and... Um, yeah, and, and uh, at, at what point do you uh, add something in without, like, okay, I've added in one card. Do we play a whole game and see how that is, or do we add in, here's five new cards? We... The five new cards. Okay, five so, new cards. so because otherwise the... it would be too slow. And there's some ideas that we can just talk out because, like, well, like you know, like hero clicks. You mm -hmm. know, you're really familiar with that. So somebody's yeah. like, okay, we're going to do this ability, and you could put in, I'm going to use this strategy with that ability this way, this way, this and this way. Yeah. So and then we talk that out of I'm going to do it like this and this and this. Is that good? And every card needs to have, like, it can fit into multiple strategies. You know, like we will not make it if it's like. This is how the card is used. It can only be used in one way, and that's the best way to use it. Then you're like, dude, that's a boring card. You know, it needs to have, you know, two to three. It needs to be dynamic. Dynamic, yes, yeah. yes, yes. And also fun, because there's some cards that are just so powerful that you're like, oh, we're not having fun anymore. Yeah. You know, because you're like, it's a game, you know. Yeah. And, but that, yeah, yeah, that's, that's how. And I told Jeff, I was, it was funny. I was like, okay, Jeff, in a year I want to get some more cards that we can print, you know? And he was like, man, I don't know, dude. I don't know if I can think of more. <laughs> two days later, he calls me up. He's like, okay, okay, I got two card ideas. <laughs> just today, he was like, okay, but I got two cards ideas. And I was like, see, dude, I told you. And he's like, they just keep coming. I'm like, so. Those are called expansions. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> what is an aspect of making this that was easier than you thought it'd be? And what is an aspect of this that is way harder than you thought it would be? Oh, that's a really good question. Because easier was uh, Jeff really thought this out before he, he told me these ideas. You know, I think the other ideas were like, I have an idea and we worked on them together and really tried to fix them. Mm -hmm. He had really thought this out and said, this is what I want it to do. And I was like, oh, that's cool. So that was easier, like the initial making of it. And then we had to add stuff. The harder part actually was not actually the build of it, was the artwork and finding people that would do a good job, yeah. you know, mm. um, with us and communicate well with us and, and, and be patient, you know. Like Michelle Ferguson, she's a really good friend of mine. I give her, you know, five different descriptions for illustrations, you know, and she'll come back with some sketches or – crazy lady will just go and straight up do a whole painting. And I'm like, no, give me a sketch. Because I'll be like, I hate that painting. And she's like, well, this is what you said to do here, here, and here. And I was like, I did, but I hate it now. <laughs> she's yeah. like, you said it. So, but she's a great, we're, we have a great time and it's hilarious. But that's a lot more time consuming than, and, and, and the communication. You yeah. know, like, Zach Rowe, I met him at 
the the Comic Con. It was like two years ago or something like that. And um, I had to really work on being like, I got to communicate to this guy really good because he's he's a freelancer, you know. And I've read plenty of stories, and I've worked in lots of different jobs. You hate working with somebody that can't communicate, right? And and yeah. artists get it all the time online. They're yeah. they're like, do all this stuff. Okay, now change over half of it. And they're like, dude, I can't do this in five minutes. Yeah. You know? So I have to be really careful about, I try to be really aware. Yeah. And, and uh, I, yeah, I know that the, the art would be uh, the most grueling yeah. of all of it just because it's so meticulous and it, it's a thing that people see and you see so much of it <laughs> that you think uh, a lot of it is disposable. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and and you know and because time and effort went into each and every single one of these, but there's so many that you think, well, surely some of these didn't matter at one point, you know, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and some of them were done faster than others, and some yeah. of them were like, oh, I have this really old artwork I did five years ago. I think I can use it, you yeah. know. Or some old friends of mine did some artwork for the ga- the old board game that was totally failing, and I was like, oh, I'm going to use his artwork. And I told him like after ever printing everything, and I was like, yo. Dude, I used your art. He's like, great. You know, because he's awesome. Yeah. You know, <laughs> yeah. Greg Capullo of Spawn and Batman fame has a great story about uh, being told multiple different things and never being right. <laughs> so Greg Capullo has done uh, art for various rock and metal bands over the years. Oh, like for album covers and stuff. Yes. I, I Starth, Something Wicked This Way Comes, which is my personal favorite. But uh, he did the... Uh, the cover for Disturbs, 10,000 Fists. Yeah. And they had him change that so many times, and he just got so frustrated with it that there's a, a picture on the album, because on like magazines and stuff like that, a lot of times they don't let you sign your name in it, so some artists like will paint themselves into it as a signature. I didn't know that. So That's he, terrible. He put yeah. him, he put himself in there with the angriest face. It's like cuz that was how I felt <laughs> having to redo that friggin' thing yeah. seven or eight times and like this is it. This is what you're getting. Yeah. And they accepted it? They, they did. They, they fin- probably liked the angry yeah, face. They, they fi- were like, "Yeah." They finally <laughs> got They finally got to the end. It's like that is an awesome story. Uh, that like, is, yeah. And he's a great guy anyway. Oh, yeah. Yeah, classic New Yorker, never met a stranger. That's um, a good thing. So uh, the the four, uh, four clans here, uh, you, you say expansions will yeah. become five clans. <laughs> <laughs> no, that is a sacrilegious thing to say, but oh, yeah, that is listen. offensive. But then we'll have to redo <laughs> the book. The, the four clans for so long. Um, but no. maybe two of the clans intermarried and made a fifth more powerful clan. Than they all did of the it. Other they have ones. to go start their own army deck, man. That's they right. Gotta do their th- uh. I've seen a preacher. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Uh, but no, I, I mean, it, is is that a thing that uh, you know you all discussed beforehand? Is the no, it, you know, it, it needs to maintain into this that I'm guessing expansions just build upon each clan. Or Expa- it's 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 not even that static. Like like the four clans. It's called that because you have four clans in this army deck. Okay, and when you're playing, let's say I steal a dude's unicorns. They have four different clans in their unicorn deck. Okay. So, and mm. what it is, is when you're laying your warriors out, uh, this dude is in the Wee Bite clan. This dude is in the Smelly Toe clan, you know? This, but it's the same dude. No! Yeah, but he's in a different clan. Yeesh. And this dude is in the Wee Wash clan. So they're in their own clans. As, they, as these clan groups get bigger and bigger, they get stronger bonuses okay. for your army. So if I steal a bunch of unicorns... So if you have more sn- Smelly Toe... Yes, then your smelly toes are stronger. Yes. Then, uh, yeah. I okay. See, I see what you did there. Oh. Oh. Ah. <laughs> he didn't even mean to make it fun. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I did. So it's so, kind of a rule of four type thing. It, it in in that aspect when playing. Okay. But if I'm stealing a bunch of unicorns that are all in the serene waterfall clan, uh, because there's not going to be any smelly toes in the unicorns. They're too majestic and strong. Oh. Um, I have to have multiple serene waterfalls for. For me to get that clan bonus. So that's, you always start out with four clans. But when playing, you could have five to six clans out. Okay. If you're stealing enough, maybe you make some realm warriors, they're their own clan. Maybe you take, because you can take some spells, curse some warriors, and they turn into animals. That's their own clan. 
So there's there's different aspects to mess with. The like. Beast Boy Clan? Yeah! Yeah! All right, so we're renaming this the Four-ish Clan. The four, nice. Yes, that's more accurate. The Four-ish <laughs> Clan. That is more accurate. Yeah. Yeah. The Four Plus? Yeah, Four Plus. The Four Plus. Yep. Makes me think of Disney Plus. Makes me want to go watch some TV. Mm. <laughs> Hello, 90s X-Men. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Bonkers for me, baby. Oh, man. Mm. Anyway. Anyway. Yes. We, yeah, we, we digress. We, well, no, dude, we, saw, we saw it on there, and I watched the first episode. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, okay, dude, it's been years, you know? Yeah. So I thought it wasn't going to be as good, but I was like, that was so good. Like, I just wanted to watch more. Yeah. It was so well done. Yeah. But. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Saber All right. Saber <laughs> We're not talking about X Men. I'm sorry. I'm talking <laughs> no, about awesome. You brought it up. They're awesome. Um, you had mentioned expansions. We are we are writing more spells right now, you know. Yeah. But those are those are probably going to be illustrated next year and stuff like that. But we are almost continuously working on new army decks mm -hmm. because you can always make more army decks with different themes, and then also they have different abilities on their clan leaders, um, which is just really exciting. Um, uh, Michelle is working on a frog warriors deck, and I told that to a dude that that. We were just playing the other day, and he was like, oh, I love frogs. And I was like, did not expect that at all. But he is pumped about it. Yeah, we have some cool. big old rusty, trusty knights uh, for that I'm working on. And then Zach Raw is working on a parody superhero deck, which is there's all kinds of jokes going on. Like Excellent. my favorite one he's done so far, and he's been putting it on his Instagram. Um, my favorite one so far is uh, we call it Little Johnny because it's a, a Ghost Rider uh, parody. And it's a, a little boy with a fiery skull head, and he's riding a big wheel. <laughs> and you're like, oh, he's cute and tough looking. <laughs> like, I love him. Just so. like me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, you know it's true when laughter ensues. Watch out, playground bullies. Yeah. 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 Are you insinuating I get? No. <laughs> uh, <sighs> anyway. So uh, it's, that, this got weird. The mini ghost rider. Funny. Yeah. Why do you always make it about you, Buck? <laughs> It's because it is about me. <laughs> I thought it was about the four clans. I might be one of them. The four clans. You, there, Kong. you don't know about my life. Is there a Buckaroo clan? Ooh. Ooh, there will be. There you go. Yeah. Oh, there will be. And it comes full circle. Guess what's yeah. all about me? Oh, that's. Cr oh, dude. That's <laughs> oh, that's uh, there will be a Josh clan because there's so many Joshes. Oh, you mean boy. a Flowers clan? Oh, the Flowers clan. That's what it needs to be, too. I'm just saying. Oh, yeah. I like it. I like it. Yeah. They're all hippies. They're hip. They're hippie barbarians. That's what <laughs> they are. Yeah. I am a study of contrast, so that works. There great. you go. <laughs> I'm digging it. <laughs> um, there, and so this, we set this game up for. To me, I'm like, if you've ever played Magic, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, you'll enjoy this game. Yeah. Like you'll because. The rules are more straightforward than some of those games. Right. It's fun. You'll get it. You'll be like, oh my gosh. Um, and and I have I have consistently, you know, this last year I've been some, giving some cards away, and now you know we're starting to sell some cards. I've been consistently being like, dude, find problems, find problems. If if there is you know a three card combination that breaks the game, I want you to find it. And there was a family in Piedmont. They're playing it. Uh, they have they have like four kids, and they're all like genius children, which is mm -hmm. great, you know. Yeah. And they were telling you can fix me, that real quick. <laughs> they were telling me, I know. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> um, that one of them thought, okay, he he was winning a lot, and they were like, yeah. uh oh, we found the only way to win. And then the next game, he just totally got decimated. Okay, it's like yes. So so if you want to break the game, break the game. That's what I want. I need to find that this year. Scissors you know? help. Yeah, they do. They yep. really do. Entirely yeah. broken. It's gone. <sighs> I'll shut up. Must you ruin everything? <laughs> yes. Buck ruins everything. Oh, Take no. that, Adam. I'm going to ruin like a myself. Buck because, ruins everything. of course, it's all about me. <laughs> no! <laughs> it's a vicious cycle. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, all right, Evan, we have about 10 minutes left. Uh, is there anything else you want to tell us about this, or do you want to move on to your other project? Because um, we, we can save the other project for next time, if need be. Yeah. No, let's look at the other project, dude, because it kind of flows into this. Okay. Um, I, all I want to say about this game is it's set up to be fun, be competitive, uh, and dynamic. Like, everybody, you will have fun playing it. Because there's card games now that have been 
built so strong that you get two cards out and you know you're going to win or lose. Yeah. And I'm like, those are broken, you know. So, yeah, I, I just want to say thefourclans.com with the number, not the word. Yes. Check it out. And my email is on there. Email me anything. You know, yeah. like, like, dude, if, if you're at Oki, you'd be like, hey, dude, I want to learn this game. Would you come show it to me? Yeah, we'll totally yeah, uh, see it at the time. Links below uh, or uh, just typed out and then copy Type paste it. in your yeah. thing. You know, yeah. uh, or come by New World Comics. It's here in the showcase. Yes, it is selling in only two places right now, which is online, which is a little bit more expensive online. Yep. Um, Take but, that online. <laughs> but And it's here at Airbucks Place. Like, yeah. It's great. So you can buy some cards, buy some dice, and then you're ready to go. Like And, and, and you just need to... By you know army deck spell deck for you and army deck spell deck for your buddy that you want to play, and then if you get nuts, you can just keep buying and buying. But and and uh, what, what's your uh, as of right now as of this recording? What's, what are they running? Uh, Ten bucks per deck. Okay, is what it is. So like you drop forty bucks, you and your friend can play, and and you and your friend can Cheaper buy the exact same game. decks. Yeah. Cheaper than a video game. Yes, and yes. it'll work your brain a lot better too, man. Yeah. Um, because there's math, there's combinations, there's strategy. Whoa, a lot of fun. There's math. There's math. No, I'm out. <laughs> no. no, it's easy math. I'm bad at math. So <laughs> <laughs> it's not. <laughs> yeah. So, and okay. the, next, the next project I wanted to talk about was a comic book, which it's not a normal comic book. It's called. I love those things. Tales from the Echoes. Um, and it is a, I call it an anthology comic book. I'm mm-hmm. not sure what the term would be, but there are multiple stories in here, and each story is connected to an illustration. So it's okay. more like reading, like, to me, it reminds me of paperbacks that have, you know, a bunch of short stories in them. Mm-hmm. And so, and that's why it's set up. It's like a 32-page book with lots of just fun illustrations, and every story is different. Some of them are just total comedies. Some of them are, you know, dramatic and deep, you know. Yeah. And other ones are really short where you're like, huh, that was funny, you know, and fun. Yeah. And, and, and we kept it down. Like, you know, it's a black and white comic, and it's just 375 you know. Um I get kind of bummed when I have to pay five bucks for a comic. I don't know why. Partly, probably because I remember when comics were a dollar fifty. Yep. And then the old guys were like, "Well, I remember when they were ten cents." You know. I was happy with them being two twenty five. Two twenty five. That. Yeah, and and I, I mean, there's a there's a uh, comic company out now that sells them for like a dollar and dollar fifty. Like they they print on the cheapest stock they can. But it makes sense. But I, I mean, you know, I I think that most more companies should switch to that model. And then do the nicer stuff uh, in the trades. For the bound yeah. business, yes. You know. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah, because, I mean, there's so many of these things put out that, you know, it can't sustain like that. So Yeah, because, like, every comic is super fancy, super bright, and you're right. like, I don't even know if I like it yet. I just want to try it. Right. Yeah. You need yeah. one of every cover. Yeah. Oh, that drives me nuts. Oh, yes. That bugs me. Well, that's a that's a whole nother show. Okay. <laughs> it was cool for like a year, and then I was like, dude, I don't even know which. And then and then you feel bad when like you get a Conan comic, yeah. and it's not the Nate guy that had that awesome sketch cover, and mm-hmm. you're like, oh, I, wanted th- I wish I didn't even know that was out there now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, collecting. It's a cruel mistress. The yeah. the Bill Sienkiewicz one in one hundred. I'm not paying five hundred, but God, that's a cool cover. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's why yeah. they make hard covers that have all those in the back. Yeah, yeah. that's ah. nice. Yeah, <laughs> but if you're just if really the Tales from the Echoes is set up for somebody you know who likes to read. You're yeah. like, hey man, I'd like to read. I love reading. And Michelle Ferguson has quite a few stories in here. Uh, Jeffrey DeLong, which I worked with him on working with them on the Four Clans. Um, he has some stories. I have one really quick short story, which I don't think is very good. But <laughs> you can email me and be like, you're right, dude. It's not very good. Um, but but the, the idea is, um, well, the idea originally was actually stolen from um, Red Crumbs, Inc. I saw them at a festival, and mm-hmm. they had, like, bedtime stories or something like that. And mm-hmm. they said, we, we have an illustration, and then we had somebody write a story that's connected to the illustration. Mm. I really enjoyed that book, you know? So I was like, dude, I can do that, you know? Yeah. But the problem I was finding is the reason people write a story first and illustrate it is because multiple times, like Jeffrey was like, hey, dude, I have this story, but you don't have any illustrations that fit it. And I was like, okay. <laughs> so we did his story, and then I was like, yeah, I don't have any illustrations that fit it. And then Michelle is like, I wrote this story for this illustration. I was like, I love your story, but it doesn't fit that illustration in my head. So I need to illustrate something. So 
I, you know, it doesn't meld as easily. It it fits better if you're like, I got your story, then I illustrate it. Yeah. But but and and there's a lot of those in here that was like, well, I didn't save myself time. <laughs> but they're fun and and you know, I want to see what people's reactions are. You know, I want to know if they really hate some of them. You know, because that's interesting or ones they really love. You know, so it's it's a cheap read. It's some fun entertainment. Fair enough. Yeah. Well, cool. Well, uh, any last thoughts, any comments, uh, questions for either of us, you know, before we, we throw you out of this. <laughs> out of this place and yeah. you go home. Um, man, just get online, thefourclans.com, and you can email me if you're interested. You know, like. What's that email? Online swashbuckler at gmail.com. That's why I'm like, go get on the website because it's a long <laughs> sucker. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it's long. Um, yeah. And, and oh, also, if you are a digital colorist and if you're an artist, you can get on there and you can email me, send me five uh, examples of your work, you know, and then we can talk about, you know, hiring you. Like all of these people have worked for me. I've paid them because it drives me nuts as an artist. To, they're like, hey, will you do me something? I'm like, yeah, sure. You know, hey. For like ten dollars, I'm like, dude. Do ten dollars worth of work. Yeah, yeah, and that's what yeah. happens. <laughs> you know, I value it, and so yeah, everybody gets Killing paid. Killing me softly. Yeah, oh, it's terrible. <laughs> but so, so you know, with that said, you will get paid. You know, but with that said, we're not wizards of the coast. They can yeah. drop a thousand bucks per illustration. Right. You know. Yeah, you, so. you, you'll you'll be paid scale. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Well, cool. Well, Evan, thank you so much for uh, coming by and and uh, telling us all about this, putting this whole thing together. Uh, this looks great. Yes. Oh, thank uh, you. you know, many successes, uh, uh, you know, hoped for you and and uh, all of your endeavors. Flowers, of course. Rotten hell. Oh <laughs> <Aww>. yeah. <laughs> Didn't know you cared. Oh, so much. <laughs> You thought of me. That's what he was saying. So thought of me. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, that about wraps us up. Uh, Drew, anything that I should know? Say anything? All right. Great. Well, then uh, we are out of here. We'll see you all next week or next time, depending on uh, how things go. Uh, thanks for listening. Subscribe, like, uh, dislike. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, really? It's your life. Uh, free country. Uh, see you all next time. <laughs>